Okay, so I've been kind of mindlessly been editing a video for about six hours today and I realise and see the commotion that has happened within Skywalk. There has been a new update, I'm pretty sure most people already know about that at this point. And it is the pet care update. Now from my understanding, it was actually nowhere near being uh, actually filled because it was a community project and I'm, I'm pretty sure, because I checked it yesterday and it was nowhere near. And uh, today it's completed apparently, I don't know whether they've just pushed it to the end or whatever's happened. Anyway, we have new NPCs. Um, we have George, who um, basically can increase your taming level cap. So what happens is you give pet, um, you give a pet to George and he'll increase your taming level cap. I mean, it's as simple as that. And this is the way in which it works. So to get or to unlock level 51, you need to give George a Rift Ferret, which you have to grind for yourself. Um, to get to level 52, you need an Epic Slug, 53, Epic Spirit, 54, Epic Giraffe, 55, Epic Jellyfish, 56, Epic Bell, 57, Epic Baby Yeti, 58, Legendary Black Cat, um, 59, Rare Frost Wisp, and level 60, a Mythic Enderman. So this is not cheap. And of course now it's even more expensive because people have been buying out these pets obviously because they want to upgrade the taming. We have a situation where the cheapest legendary jellyfish pet is 85 million. So everything has gone bonkers. In my opinion, because they've obviously kind of gone down the farming route where you can't just level up to 60 straight away if you have the XP, you actually have to unlock the level caps. I'm not a massive fan of it if I'm being completely honest. I think Taming needs a rework, but I don't think this is the way to do it. This isn't the worst of it, though, because I think the, the rest of the update is worse than this. This is probably the best of a bad bunch, in my opinion. But it doesn't stop there. Of course, um, pretty much all pets that you need to upgrade your Taming, though, have increased massively. Like, they, they've doubled, tripled, quadrupled, whatever you like. Who would have access to this information before the update releases? I don't know, maybe people working for Hypixel, working on the update. I absolutely could not believe my eyes when I saw this. I could not believe them because this is insanity. However, there is an admin called Heatran who actually um, bought out all the pets that you need um, to basically upgrade your taming before the update. Um, and he just went on like a, a buying streak of pets. Not even necessarily pets that you need to upgrade your taming, but pets that have now increased in price because of the update. And basically inside is traded. He's an admin. Um, he's got a net worth of about 100 billion coins. I just I don't know what to say. So you can see before the update was buying out all of these pets. Jellyfish. Um, wait, wait, what's the... He bought jellyfish for 16 mil. Now they're nearly 100 mil. Bought spirits for a, a million coins. You know, like, just went on a proper spree. Unsold a jellyfish for 108 mil. Um, a giraffe for 35, 35... A spirit for 35, he bought that for a mil, another jellyfish for 100 mil, like, that is ridiculous, come on. Now, fine, of course, admins can have their own personal profiles where they might actually want to play out the game properly, but um, this isn't really playing out the game properly. You know, if you really wanted coins, why couldn't you just go on a different profile and spawn as many coins as you possibly wanted in? It's a little bit confusing. I, I actually, the more I think about it, the less I understand of why he did it. I, it, it just gets more and more, uh, like... A bit, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense at all. I don't know what to say, I'm lost for words. Anyway, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITRO so it gets yourself 5% off. Also, you should subscribe to the channel, it does help out a lot. And you should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of this video. We offer slayers and dungeon carries, so if you need carries, or want to carry make some coins, make sure to join. Now there's more NPCs, and there's more purposes to this update. It isn't just upgrading your taming level, it's also leveling pets through uh, fan right here. Now, we actually can't do anything at all, because... Um, this NPC has currently been disabled because of a wipe, believe it or not. That isn't the craziest part though. People were getting pets wiped left and right. In this menu, when you actually are able to click on fan, there's basically three slots, and pets that were in the third slot um, under a few circumstances were wiped, and quite a few. That's happened, that's pretty, um, it's, it's happened to quite a lot of people, it's not really something that's rare, and hence the reason why at the moment we can't use this NPC. Anyway, um, what, I'm, what I actually do want to mention is the actual update itself, like this leveling update, in my opinion, is absolutely terrible. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, in my opinion. The way it works is you um, basically put the pet into the menu. Um, obviously, depending on the pet, the rarity and so on, you do you decide how fast you want the pet to be leveled. And obviously, the quicker you want the pet to be leveled, the more expensive it's going to cost in coins, um, which is fair enough. 
you can decide what level you want it to get to and so on now there's different methods and basically there's different amount of xp uh, amounts of xp that you pick that your pet can actually gain per day uh, but that would actually of course be affected um then have a knock-on effect with the coins that you have to pay and the time you have to wait so the quicker your pet levels you pay more you wait less time and vice versa Meaning that some people, when trying to maybe level a, a pet from level 1 to um, 100, if they chose the free option, um, which means that you gain 10k pet XP per day, we're having to wait between 10 and 16 real-life years. Years to level the pet. I'm sorry, Hypixel, that is stupid. There's no way to put it. That is downright stupid. If there's any consolation, I like the new design of this house. Probably not much. It is really, really, really confusing to me why they would implement a feature whereby it takes 16 real life years to upgrade a pet and it could potentially go higher. That's just what we've seen. Now, as I was uh, saying before regarding the admin that decided to insider trade, um, there's actually been a response. Um, this is from actually a different administrator. Um, of course, somebody um, mentioned what was going on the forums um thank you for bringing uh, our awareness to this situation we want to be clear that this sort of behavior is not allowed and we apologize for it happening to begin with using knowledge of an upcoming update is an abusive position uh, and we will be discussing the issue with the team to ensure it does not happen again furthermore um, we will be addressing the administrator in question about the poor decision they made yeah, fair enough, but I don't really see what else they could potentially say. I mean, someone has obviously just massively screwed up and there's no other way to put it. But yeah, very interesting stuff. Regardless of that, the update itself. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure about this. The taming level cap upgrade. You know what? I don't hate too much. I, I don't hate it too much because if you want to pay a premium for the pets, uh, maybe do a little bit of grinding to get taming 60, then go for it. It's a worthy grind. I, I, I think there's better ways of implementing um, a taming rework. Um, or maybe just a rework itself, because this isn't a rework. This is just a, an additional content, essentially. It's all right. But the leveling pets seems to me like you pay a lot of coins. You wait a lot of time. Um, even reasonable times to wait are over 20 days to level a pet from like level 70 to level 100, which is too long. It just is too long. You can level that pet quicker yourself, especially using the feeder every day. You can have multiple people using it. I think this update, uh, this part of the update is absolutely obsolete and redundant already just by the inefficiency of, uh, of the actual upgrade. I think it's just pointless. But at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. You should have your say in the comments. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.